My parents have never been good at math, so that's probably how come I've never been good at math. It takes me longer to do math than other kids, so it's not fun for me. I don't like math because I've never been good at it since kindergarten. As a middle school math teacher, hearing statements like these from my students year after year caused me to investigate how students' beliefs about themselves, or self-efficacy, could be improved. In my initial readings, I discovered that, during the past two decades, self-efficacy has emerged as a highly effective predictor of students' motivation and learning. I wanted to gather data so I knew exactly how my students felt about themselves and their abilities to do math. I surveyed my students and found that about one-third of my class did not feel confident or actively engaged with mathematics. I began to research how I could positively impact them and hopefully affect their feelings and achievement over time. We began a series of videos and discussions on self-efficacy theory. Students learned how beliefs can affect outcomes, such as homework completion and test scores. Perhaps even more important, students who always felt they were bad at math started to change their beliefs about their abilities. Students who rarely attempted difficult problems began to try. Homework completion went up and attitudes improved. After five weeks of activities together, I surveyed my students again. From pre to post survey, negative ratings decreased and positive ratings increased. This indicated that overall self-efficacy had improved. The same survey showed that students' overall engagement, including behavioral, emotional, and cognitive engagement, increased after our classroom unit on self-efficacy. Again, the ratings that indicated low self-efficacy decreased, and ratings that indicated high self-efficacy increased. Finally, I asked students if they believed that their own thoughts and feelings actually affected their ability to do math. The responses were overwhelmingly positive. 65% responded that yes, beliefs do affect ability. I believe with more time, this number would have been even higher. All the discussions we had about self-efficacy um, made me feel as though I can accomplish and better complete my schoolwork. I didn't realize how my brain could affect my feelings and my feelings could affect how good I am at math. Learning about self-efficacy helped me learn that everything could be accomplished in that never say can't, always say can. My research showed that teachers of middle school students can positively affect student self-efficacy by performing specific teacher moves, as well as through education of self-efficacy theory. Additional research is needed concerning how these activities affect students who are either older, such as high school students, or younger, such as kindergarten through fifth grade students. While the teacher moves may be applicable to younger students, I'm not sure about introducing the theory itself. The concept may be too abstract for some elementary students to comprehend. One thing is for sure, doing this work cannot harm the students other than taking away some class time. The potential benefits outweigh the drawbacks. Therefore, I would recommend doing this work with students. Even if only some are positively affected, the impact can ripple throughout the student's education for years to come.